Welcome to Geek Spunk Animals, let's get to know wolves. Wolves are fascinating creatures that have played a significant role in human history and culture. They are the largest members of the dog family and can be found in various parts of the world including North America, Europe, and Asia. Wolves are known for their intelligence, pack behavior, and strong social bonds. They are also apex predators, playing a crucial role in maintaining the balance of the ecosystem. In this video, we will take a closer look at the biology, behavior, and conservation status of wolves. Let's start with a little history of wolves. Wolves have a long and complex history with humans. For thousands of years, wolves have been both revered and feared by the people around the world. In ancient cultures, wolves were often seen as symbols of power, strength, and courage. They were also associated with the gods and goddesses of the hunt. However, as human populations grew and expanded into new areas, wolves came into conflict with people. They were hunted and trapped for their pelts, for sport, and to protect livestock. This led to a widespread extermination of wolves in many parts of the world. By the 20th century, wolves have been largely eliminated from much of Europe and the United States. In the latter part of the 20th century, attitudes towards wolves began to change. Conservation efforts and laws were implemented, and wolves were introduced to areas where they had been previously exiled. To this day, wolves are protected by law in many countries and their populations have been stable in many areas because of this. However, they still face threats such as habitat loss, poaching, and human-wolf conflicts. Alright, now let's talk about the habitat of wolves. Wolves are found in a variety of habitats including forests, grasslands, tundra, and even deserts. They are adaptable animals that can live in a wide range of environmental conditions. In North America, wolves are found in the boreal forests of Canada, the Arctic tundra, and of course, the Rocky Mountains. In Europe, they are found in many forested areas, as well as mountainous regions of Italy, France, and Spain. In Asia, they can be found in the boreal forests of Russia, the Himalayan mountains, and the deserts of the Middle East. Wolves are very territorial animals and will defend their territory from other packs of wolves. They are also known to migrate over long distances in search of food or to establish new territories. Now we'll talk about the different species of wolves around the world. The existence of different species and subspecies of wolves is a topic of debate among many experts. Currently, the red, Ethiopian, and gray wolf are widely recognized as distinct species. However, some scientists argue that there may be additional species or subspecies of wolf, such as the Arctic wolf, timber wolf, Mexican wolf, and even Japanese wolf. Time for the fun part, let's talk about the physical characteristics of wolves. Grey wolves have a set of adaptations that allow them to live a predatory lifestyle. Some of these include sharp senses, large teeth, and strong jaws, as well as the ability to run at very high speeds. They can be quite large in size, with males measuring up to 2 meters in length or 79 inches, including their bushy tails, and standing at 76 centimeters or 30 inches at the shoulder. Their weight can vary depending on location, typically ranging from 45 kilograms, but can be as low as 14 kilograms and as high as 65 kilograms. Females on average are 20% smaller than the male counterparts. The largest wolves are found in the northern regions of Canada, Alaska, and Asia, while the smaller ones tend to be found in the southern regions like the Middle East, Arabia, and India. Their fur can come in a variety of colors, mostly grey, but can also be brown, red, black, or white, with the underparts and legs usually an off-white color. The Arctic regions usually have the lighter colored wolves. Now let's talk a little bit about the wolves' diet. So what do they eat? Grey wolves are mostly active at night, especially in areas with human populations and during warmer weather. They primarily hunt large herbivores such as deer, elk, moose, bison, bighorn sheep, caribou, and even musk oxen, which they chase, catch, and bring to the ground. They will even eat beavers and hares when available. 
And in Western Canada, some wolves even fish for Pacific salmon. Yummy. A large percentage of the animals that wolves kill are young, old, or in poor condition. This helps clean the ecosystem. After making a kill, the pack eats a large amount of food, sometimes up to 3 to 9 kilograms per animal, and then lingers, often reducing the carcass to hair and bones before moving on and looking for another meal. Alright, time for some wolf social behavior. Grey wolves typically live in packs that can have up to 30 members, although packs of 6 to 10 individuals are most common. The pack is usually composed of an alpha breeding pair, the alpha male and alpha female, and their offspring of various ages. The ability of wolves to form strong social bonds is what makes pack life possible. Within the pack, a dominant hierarchy is established to maintain order, with the alpha male and alpha female asserting themselves over their subordinates and leading the group's activities. The females usually take charge and care in defense of the pups, while the males dominate in foraging, food provisioning, and travel related to those activities. Both sexes are very active in hunting and killing prey, but during the summer, hunts are often conducted alone. A pack's territory can vary from 80 to 3,000 square kilometers, depending on the availability of prey, and it is fiercely defended against neighboring packs. Wolves communicate with each other through visual signaling, vocalizations, and scent markings. Howling helps the pack stay in contact and also seems to strengthen social bonds among pack members. Along with howling, marking territory with urine and feces lets neighboring packs know to stay away. Normally, intruders are often killed by the resident pack, but in some cases, they actually accept this other pack and they join together. Time to talk about the mating habits of wolves. Wolves breed between February and April and give birth to litters of usually five or six pups in the spring after a gestation period of about two months or so. These pups are born in dens, which can be natural holes, burrows, rock crevices, hollow logs, overturned stumps, abandoned beaver lodges, and even depressions beneath the lower branches of a conifer. All members of the pack, no matter what their status is, take care of the young and pups. After being weaned from their mother's milk at six to nine weeks, the pups are fed a diet of regurgitated meat. During the spring and summer months, the pups are the center of attention and the focus of the pack's activities. After a few weeks, the pups are usually moved from the den to an above-ground rendezvous site, where they play and sleep while the adults hunt. As summer comes to an end, the pups grow rapidly and are moved farther and more often. In the autumn, the pack start to travel again within its territory and the pups must keep up. Most pups are almost adult size by October or November. After two or more years in the pack, many young wolves leave to search for a mate, establish a new territory, and possibly start their own pack. Those who decide to stay with the pack may eventually replace a parent and become the breeding animal, or the alpha. Large packs can form when fewer young wolves leave the group and when litters are produced by more than one female. This generally doesn't happen, but can. Wolves that leave their packs have been known to travel as far as 886 kilometers. So what's the conservation status of wolves then? The conservation status of wolves depend on the country and the species of wolf. The grey wolf, an important predator in the food chain, plays a crucial role in the ecosystem it inhabits. Despite being the ancestor of domestic dogs, humans have had a history of conflict with wolves for years. Attacks on humans by wolves are rare, and they do not typically cause harm to livestock unless they're starving. However, due to their attacks on domestic animals, wolves were hunted almost to extinction in the lower 48 states of the Americas. Some populations have survived and returned to certain regions such as the Great Lakes, Northern Rockies, and Southwestern US, but the species still faces ongoing prosecution. In 1973, the grey wolf was added to the endangered species list due to dangerously low numbers 
And unfortunately, the United States removed its status to least concerned in 2020, even though its numbers are just starting to stabilize a little bit. Let's keep the fun going with five fun facts about wolves. Number one, wolves have a complex social structure and communication system. They use a variety of vocalizations such as howling, whining, and growling to communicate with each other and maintain their pack dynamics. Number two, wolves live in family units called packs, which can consist of up to 30 wolves. The pact is always led by one alpha male and one alpha female. Number three, wolves are excellent hunters and can run at speeds of up to 64 kilometers an hour. They are also able to cover large distances, with some wolves traveling up to 48 kilometers in a single day. Number four, wolves have a keen sense of smell, which they use to locate prey, navigate their territory, and communicate with other members of their pack. They can even detect scents from up to 2.41 kilometers away. And number five, wolves have a unique way of showing affection to their pack members by giving what is known as a wolf hug. This is when they put their front paws on the shoulders of the other wolf and rest their chin on the other's shoulders. Let's sum up what we learned about in this video. Through this video, we were able to gain a deeper understanding of the gray wolf, a keystone predator and an integral link to the food chain of the ecosystem to which they belong. We learned about the complex social structure and communication system of wolves and their pack dynamics. Their hunting and breeding habits were noted as well and their amazing physical characteristics. I hope this video has helped us to appreciate the unique and important role that wolves play in the natural world and how important it is to conserve and to protect them. Thanks a lot for watching my videos. If you like what you see, make sure to boop that like button, comment, and subscribe. Maybe you'll like one of the two videos on your screen right now. Thanks a lot for watching, and stay tuned for the next episode. See you later!